I think if they can put it all together, um, and it is a massive challenge to do that, you're talking a lot of pieces of technology have got to talk, they've got to get the APIs working, um, you're looking at access for multiple parties, you've got tenants to access, you've got you know uh, landlords to access, you've got agents to access, you've got government agencies to access, so there's, you've got multiple parties with multiple logins and multiple, you know, mm. it, it's like a bowl of spaghetti, and obviously there have been trials on it, and there's all sorts of beta testing going on at the moment. I actually think the theory of that's quite exciting, and I'll explain why I think that's exciting. Because a bigger issue is actually not the rental sector, it's actually the sales sector and the length of time it takes transactions to go through, and a lot of that is all about communication. That's where the issue, multiplication of people providing identity in three or four occasions, so professionals, solicitors and agents repeating the same work, financial services repeating the same work, whereas actually... My head's you, gone already. If you could have, <laughs> if you could have, I apologise, if you could make it work in the in the in the rental sector, you know, if you then tied that in and maybe took land registry as the lead on that, really, which is the holder of all de- deeds and titles, left, right, and centre, and you could pull the same theory into the into the into the conveyancing process and the, the buying and selling process, you could probably have a very very strong argument that would use technology to have to speed the process, not hamper the process. You're watching The Property Cast, powered by the award-winning Total Landlord Insurance. 